And as that underlying structure falls apart, then the problems with untrammeled speech mount, not least because the narcissistic psychopaths come rushing forward and and it's very, very difficult to regulate them. Now, you know, I am an advocate for free speech. I'm on Musk's side in this mm. argument, but I also understand that the 3%, 5%, something like that of truly bad actors, they are, they're worse than you think. Mm. I guess I'd add one more thing to that. I have a suspicion as well that people on the left have less of an imagination for evil and are therefore more likely to be captured in their endeavors by the Machiavellian actors. And I believe that because the more liberal slash progressive types are higher in trait agreeableness, which makes them value compassion, for example, in the way that they do. And the problem with compassion, apart from the fact that it can become devouring if it's overextended, like you shouldn't treat grown people, for example, as if they're infants because you demoralize them. The other problem is, is that you have a proclivity to presume that everyone who's misbehaving is a victim who needs sympathy. Mm. Now, it, even, it could even be that 80% of criminals are salvageable, maybe even 90%, but the 10% that aren't, oh, oh boy, you better look out for them. And if you are incapable of imagining that there's a subset of people who are animated primarily by self-interest and malevolence, you know very little about the world. But there's 1 also... 1% of the criminals... There's also... 1% of the criminals commit 65% of right. the crimes. So you hit on something when you, when you spoke a little earlier, where you said that people... I mean, I, I've seen it happen, and I knew this would happen, that the explosion of conversation about mental health has led to two things. Yeah. on a negative side. Well, three, actually. One is that so many people now self-identify as mentally ill when I don't think they are. Uh, secondly, a lot of people are using it. I mean, in Britain, we have 5 million people out of a population of 67 million currently off work, and the vast majority are off work being paid to stay at home because of various mental health-related issues, anxiety, and so on. And this is completely unprecedented in the history of this country and is dramatically affecting, in a negative way, you know, workplace and, and people's ability to function as, as employers. Um, but it's also got a very malevolent side that's now cropped up, where bad people are using mental health as a protective shield against accountability for their, cr their crimes. That's what they do. And they're very effective at it. You know, I've... There's a couple of more psychopathic types that I thought about interviewing on my podcast. I won't name any names at the moment. But in the most famous case, I decided against it because I wasn't convinced that I that he would fail to charm me during the interview. Mm. You know, even though I have a fair bit of clinical experience and a pretty decent serpent's eye for the psychopathic types, I'm generally an agreeable person and I give people the benefit of the doubt.